when we speak of value coordinates, I'm going to use the following definition. Um, uh, survival, progression-free and overall survival are very important value coordinates. Um, I think um, symptom-free interval, I think, is a good one. So I think in breast cancer, um, how long we can keep women who are asymptomatic from developing symptoms or problems from their breast cancer. So a lot of women will come in uh, with an asymptomatic bone metastasis, maybe an asymptomatic visceral metastasis in lung or liver. Um, and, you know, one could ask, should these people be treated at all? Why are we treating them, you know, if they don't have any symptoms? And you can't cure them of their disease with what we have in 2018. And the reason to treat them is to prevent them from getting into trouble, say, two, three months later, two, three years later. And I think that's really what we're trying to do. The symptom-free interval, I think, is a really good way to assess value in the treatment of metastatic breast cancer. Obviously, in the treatment of early-stage breast cancer, it's how many people relapse versus how many don't. I think that's really what it comes down to. Whatever compounds, drugs, therapies, interventions you do, uh, in early stage, you're really trying to prevent recurrence of disease. Now, distant recurrence of disease is really important. Okay, Local recurrence is important, too. Um, but I think one thing that, over time, we are doing in breast cancer is really beginning to understand that lo while local recurrence is important as a value coordinate, I think distant recurrence uh, is a little bit, at least to me, a little bit more important because local disease can be managed locally. Distant disease generally can be managed systemically, and unfortunately, most distant disease in 2018 is not curable. So for me, distant disease recurrence is a little bit more value coordinate than local, number one. Number two, again, in, in distant, once you have metastatic disease, I think it's really that symptom-free interval, symptom-free progression. So, you know, progression, symptom-free progression, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, the, it's not so much radiologic progression, which is important, but it's radiologic progression uh, that actually has a clinical consequence for the patient. That's what you're trying to prevent.